What's up guys, my name is Jellycook5 and welcome back to an episode of the Fortuna Dusseldorf career mode. Before we get into this episode, it'd be much appreciated if you're able to hit that like button down below. If you haven't done so already, it'd be much appreciated if you can hit that subscribe button, it helps me out an awful lot. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. We start off today's episode with a signing of Kelsa Hayden there, contacting Freiburg to see what deal we can get done. And it seems to be that we've reached the agreement of 3.4 million and he should be a Fortuna Dusseldorf player in absolute no time. It's just a backup to be honest. He's a very kind of versatile wing back at the same time. He can play on the left and he can play on the right. It's always nice to have the backup there. I don't see him a lot on the pitch, don't get me wrong, but I feel like he'd be a decent option. He's 22 years of age. He's 71 rated. He's very versatile. He's very quick and he's still got a lot to learn, that is for sure. He's only looking for a rotation. I was going for a sporadic, but he wasn't able to accept it. He's going for the rotation role, which I think is fair enough. I think that's easily done too, to be honest. Looking at a four-year deal at the same time, so he should be at the club for quite a high majority. If he does grow into the team then sweet if he doesn't then obviously we can sell him on for a larger fee in time he's only wanting a small fee obviously remove the bonus looking at twelve and a half thousand per week and he is quite happy to accept that so that is the signing of this one done and Kelsa Hayden is a Fortuna Dusseldorf player one person that's going to be outgoing though is Drew Head Yearwood sorry he was good, to be honest, in the uh, in this Bundesliga too. But Bundesliga, obviously, has never really crept into the side with the players that we do have and the capabilities of others. He will be heading off to Watford for a 1.2 million fee, and we wish him all the best. We start off the games with the simulation against Frankfurt then, and we get a 2-1 victory. Blanco and now Harby getting on the score sheet there. Nice to see kind of two players that normally don't even play or score get on the score sheet there. So we get the victory, we get the three points, and it's a decent way to start the episode. Our first game that we play in this particular one is going to be against Wolfsburg at the Volkswagen Arena as we play against Josh Brownhill for the first time since leaving the club. This is going to be the lineup: up Lebrovic in goal, Newman and Fusamensa as the centre-backs, Gumni on the right-hand side, Gallardo on the left, Chavez, Taliso, Chair, Solomon, Yanfitip, Arp and Kevin Shard make up the final 11. Looking forward to this one. It's going to be a very hard game. Let's get into this game and let's see what happens. A lot of decent momentum coming into this game, but it's going to be a tough one, that's for sure, as Wolfsburg are a decent side. Marina looks to play on the right-hand side to his teammate Fisher, and he makes a quick pass to teammate Cerny. Looking for an opportunity to be created, he makes a burst on the right-hand side. Gallardo tries to match him for pace, he matches him, but he gets the pass up at the same time. Marina now picks it up in the box. It's Edward now, and it's on to Kaminsky, and Kaminsky has found the back of the net to make it. Wolfsburg 1, Fortuna does it off nil, and it's only taken 11 minutes to do so. The first chance for falling to Wolfsburg, and they've taken it really well at the same time. Fair play to them, to be honest when you start games like that and you can kind of go on from there even further so yeah there are at home they have got the advantage and they've definitely started off things really well in this particular fixture getting a lot of possession and taking their first chance the Bobbich with no really kind of idea what to do in that situation whatsoever being from such close range and Kaminsky fires it in to the bottom corner good chance for Wolfsburg to get another goal here in the, in the 26th minute as they get the corner as they look to play it short Marina finds Cerny then as he looks to be able to create an opportunity to get the ball into the box Jan Petit Arpens intercepts it as he looks to be able to offload it to a red and white shirt and kind of obtain possession himself. On the right hand side is Kevin Sharp then as he makes a decent run himself there as he looks to be able to get past the defenders and he does. He finds Taliso and all man but Taliso is in on front of goal. He's not got the pace but can he do it? And yes he can. Taliso opens up his account of this particular season with a goal in the 29th minute of the Volkswagen Arena against Wolfsburg. It's Wolfsburg 1 Fortuna Dusseldorf 1 and Taliso fires his side back level into this particular fixture and what a way to do it. A lovely break from the corner there just assess our options and we just hit themselves on the break and leaving no chance for them to get to us whatsoever what a finish that was and we are now back ahead in this game and we are level really happy that we was able to get straight back into this game but it's going to take a lot of doing to get another goal as Wolfsburg looks to be able to go on the counter set themselves Fisher picks it up on the right hand side evaluating a lot of options green shirts available at the same time as a lot of people are kind of creating runs Josh Brownhill the former man finds Edward then as he looks to be able to see if he can get the ball into a teammate the kind one can get it clear and Edward finds Kaminsky and Kaminsky adds to his game get a count in this particular game because it's Wolfsburg 2, Fortuna Dusseldorf 1 and it's Kaminsky's second of this particular game. Poor defensive clearance led to the attack and unfortunately when you just can't accept where you've kind of not cleared your lines whatsoever, you're going to kind of go under pressure and if they take chances just like that then it's kind of come get to bite you and that's exactly what's happened. Kaminsky has fired his side back in front once again to make it 2-1 for the German side there. Really nicely done from Kaminsky and as you can see, Gunter Bernard is not happy. 38 minutes in 
of the first half, then Wolfsburg are looking to build on the two goals that they've already scored as they make an instant attack here as Kaminsky picks it up on the left-hand side. Absolutely rinsing Gumney for pace here as he looks to get into the box, but he does actually get a tackle in there, Gumney, as he looks to offload it to Chair. Chair picks it up, finding his teammate Kevin Child on the right-hand side that can use his pace to advantage there. He tries to offload it onto the other side, but he can't as the shot was blocked. A pass was blocked, sorry, as Fusimensa passes it back onto Labrovic. Labrovic getting a little bit cocky there, but it works out in his favour as he finds Mufavensa once again here, finding Taliso. Taliso travelling forward here as he's got options. One of them is Shard. Shard now picks it up. He looks to turn the defender. He finds his teammate, Jan Fatih Parp, is there. But unfortunately, the defender makes a decent interception and it is the end of that particular attack. But it's not the end of Wolfsburg's attack here as Kaminsky looks to make a burst on the left-hand side. Gumney's got his work cut out and it seems to be that Kaminsky is rinsing him every time here. Kaminsky looking to get the ball into the box. He passes it back to Brownhill. Gumney and Taliso double team him as you can see. But unfortunately, Brownhill still ends up on top. He finds Edward and Edward finds the back of the net to make it all spoke free for Tuna Dusseldorf 1 and does that seal the icing on the cake already in this particular fixture only in the first half a very poor performance in the first half only having one chance and one goal but it seems to be that Wolfsburg are coming out on top in this particular fixture and they're absolutely millering us so far not exactly ideal that is for sure but we're going to have to accept it for what it is and move forward in the second half and see if we can kind of get ourselves back into the game with 45 minutes to play Substitutions to be able to make as much as it's harsh. We need to go for an attacking perspective. Taliso will come off the pitch. Apple Camp will come on there, as you can see. As Blanco will also come off for Jan Vati Parpi, who's been really poor, to be honest. Let's see what Blanco can do. Let's see what this side can do. And let's get straight in to the second half. It took to about the 60th minute to create a chance here. And unfortunately, it fell to Wolfsburg. As Cerny picks it up on the right-hand side, finding Fisher. Lovely creativity here as Marino is found onto Edward now. Really good chance to get the ball into the box. But Fusa Mensa makes the challenge, finding Chavez now, as he looks to be able to travel further with it and create an opportunity for his teammates here. Opportunity lies on the right hand side as Kevin Shard is in support and so is Elias Chair. Chair now finds Kevin Shard on the right hand side as he uses his pace to advantage to be able to get the ball into the box here and he's in there. Can he get it in? But unfortunately it's been intercepted by the Wolfsburg defender as we look to chase down possession but I don't think we're going to obtain it there as Elias Chair does all he can and it is Apple Camp there also but a foul was given and I'm not too sure if that's in our favour or not and it is as you can see Solomon will take the free kick on the edge of the area. Looks to be one to cross in as Solomon crosses in straight away there but Golaski deals with it nice and calmly looking to be able to settle the play down and see if he can find a teammate in space there as you can see the six second mark is completely gone but he holds onto the ball even longer wasting a little bit of time he looks to offload it on the right hand side finding Sergio Dest who just come on for the former Barcelona man as you can see looking to find Marino as he makes a 1-2 and Dest is playing really well here as he finds a teammate Wimmer Wimmer just coming off the bench also and he's full of pace he's full of energy looking to be able to see if he can get a ball into the box and create an opportunity as Marino picks it up now onto North Norgaard. Norgaard's got a perfect chance. He finds Kaminsky and he's shy of his hat-trick there but it just goes wide and it still stays 3-1. The second half hasn't really worked in our favour in terms of the substitutions. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, Hereta just came off on Kevin Shard. Nothing really creating whatsoever and it seems to be that moments like this where Fusa Mensa loses the ball and we kind of open up self in such a poor position allows us too many times to be able to kind of concede goals. Wimmer with a chance here. It's Edouard. This could be a fourth. It's now Marino and Marino does score. It's Wolfsburg 4 for Chidas off one and that is pretty much the icing on the cake for Wolfsburg there as it's going to be the game set and the match that is for sure really hard done by but at the same time it's deserved because when you have moments like this where you completely mess up in games and you don't take them for what they are you kind of get punished and that's, this is the league that we're in and we know this from last season it's about bettering ourselves and going again this season don't get me wrong but unfortunately we have suffered defeat at the Volkswagen Arena it's Wolfsburg 4 Volkswagen Dusseldorf 1 I'm not naming any names in terms of deeps and performances because there exactly weren't any, unfortunately. The first half was completely poor. I can only say hats off to Lisa for actually scoring the one and only goal that we did actually can, can, can do. But yeah, we'll put that to the back of our heads because we've got a massive game now up at home in the Dusseldorf Arena to RB Leipzig. We know all what they can do. Let's see what we can do. This is going to be the lineup. Slight changes here as Lebrovic in goal. Robinson and Fusa Mensa as a centre back pairing as Al Rabi comes in for Gumni on the right hand side. Gallardo on the left with Chavez Tananka. Moore in the middle there, as you can see, is Solomon on the left, Hereta on the right, and Jan Fatip up, up top. It's going to be difficult to bounce back in a decent manner, to be honest, after such a heavy defeat against Wolfsburg. And we don't really start off that well either, as Al Harbi loses possession straight away just after the kickoff. Almas picks it up, looking to offload it to Gaetano, and he picks it up on the left hand side. Overlapping run, but he does stray offside at the same time as Gaetano still remains in possession. He finds Wiley with an opportunity to get the ball into the box as Fusa Mensa doesn't deal with it. He finds a pendant now. Now it's going to be Sesko. Al Harbi gets the block. It's still Sesko. Labrovic with the save, falling out of absolutely nowhere as Chavez clears his lines, finding Hereta on the right hand side to create an opportunity 
see for himself as options are there. Jan Fatih Park being one of them. Art releases the ball straight away to Areta as advantage is being played after the shove there as he looks to be able to create an opportunity into the box here. He cuts in the left, he finds Arp, but it is a very unfortunate shot there. Nothing to be able to trouble the keeper on this occasion and he does collect it nice and comfortably there as he gets a goal kick. He looks to clear his lines, finding Benjamin Sesco now on to Almas. A tight in this game very nice and quickly here as you can see Sidewheel picking out, finding Sesco once again there. Sesco to Appenda, using his pace Appenda there as he charges on the right hand side to Cancelo. Now to Appenda once again there. Appenda's in here, he's scooped through the gap, but what a challenge that was by Fusa Mensa there. Nice and strong in the challenge, finding Gallerado as he offloads it to Solomon. And now we look to go on the break here as options are there as you can see, but there seems to be the defenders are nice on it at the same time as Appenda retrieves possession, looking to be able to create an attack straight away as Cancelo finds Almas. Almas to a teammate Sesco. Sesco with an opportunity, he back seals it to Appenda. Poor pass, but Appenda still remains in possession here as he's got an opportunity to shoot. But Lebrovic with a decent save there. Really well done from Lebrovic as he offloads it on the right hand side to his teammate Cesar Aretta. As Aretta looks here to do something on the right hand side to create an opportunity with himself, finding Emre Moore. Emre Moore picks it up. A lovely introduction is Emre Moore as he finds Solomon. Lovely pass. It's Solomon in on goal. And Solomon finds the back of the net to make it Fortuna Dusseldorf 1. RB Leipzig 0. It's our first chance this particular game, but we've taken it with flying colours. And it's that man, Manor Solomon, once again there. Lovely pass from Emre Moore to be able to find the gap to be able to kind of allow himself enough time to be able to get the shot off and that is a really nicely done finish at the same time nestling into the back of the net of a fist bump from Ben Gunter Bernard really happy with that one as we haven't really started this game off that quickly but we're going to continue on as RB Leipzig are now going on the attack as Sananka picks it up in the middle looking to be able to go on forward but Xavier Schlager picks it up finding Almas now a pender real good opportunity to offload it as Gaetano picks it up as he really got a decent chance he takes a heavy chance but it's kind of put him in good stead the ball is whipped in and a pender finishes it with making it Fortuna Dusseldorf 1 RB Leipzig 1 it didn't take them too long to be able to get into the game and it's that man Lewis Appender finds the back of the net to get the equaliser in this particular game we've been playing alright to be honest but we haven't created enough chances to really kind of build on the advantage that we already had and unfortunately Lewis Appender is always going to punish you in them sort of situations unmarked in on goal and it is a really nicely volleyed at the end of the day he had a lot to do from there but he still finishes it with flying colours 33 minutes into this tie then both sides have scored both sides are looking sharp Al Harbi receives it off the goal kick there as he finds Fusa Mensa as he reflows it to Gallardo on the left hand side options created here as Gallardo looks to take it upon himself there to run here looking for an opportunity he whips it in but Jan Petit up there just misleading the header Gunter Bernard not very happy with his efforts but it was very poor from Jan Petit Park there unmarked in on goal and the header's only got to be on target and it's in but it just strays wide very good chance that is for sure but it's not taken on this occasion as we continue with 36 minutes being played goal kick from RB Leipzig as it looks to be able to find to Chavez's head there as he finds Solomon on the left hand side opportunity for Jan Petit Park to take it down. He's got options, one of them being Emre Moore. Emre Moore is in! And Emre Moore fires the back of the net to make it Fortuna Dusseldorf 2, RB Leipzig 1 and it's that man Emre Moore that gets himself on the score sheet to bring his name back into the football lights and what a goal that was from Emre Moore. He's got an assist, he's got a goal he's had a brilliant start against RB Leipzig let's build on this and let's go even further because if we can we should be okay a lovely bit of play there of finding Emre Moore in a decent position there and he had not a lot to do but he did it perfectly and that's the most thing that matters. Really good finish by Emre Moore nice to see him on the score sheet and nice to see it in front once again really happy with our performance in the first half even though that we conceded and we were a bit slow two goals means a lot let's go into the second half with a lot of confidence now as Solomon picks it up on the left hand side Jan for Parp is there he crosses it to Jan for Parp but the header just strays wide once again there doesn't seem to be that his heading's the most accurate of things at the moment as RB Leipzig have a free kick there as you can see looking to clear it straight away as Solomon finds Emre Moore as an opportunity does create itself if we can hit them on the counter attack and create some sort of opportunity for ourselves now as Solomon is left for dead there he's in on goal could it be a second of the game and yes it can it's Manor Solomon for 3-1 and this is absolutely turning the way that we would like it to 20 minutes well we've got about 32 minutes left in this particular tie and it's seeming to be that we are getting the job done nice and easy in this tie it's been hard for us in some aspects because I realize that we're a very good side and they've definitely been pressuring us at the right times but it seems to be that we've been hitting on the break nice and easy and from that free kick there we just hit him on the break a lovely effort from Manor Solomon and he has found the back of the net for the second time 
to make it Fortuna Dusseldorf 3, RB Leipzig 1. Really happy with the team's effort, especially people like that when you've signed them for such a big thing. You know it's kind of working out. Definitely a better replacement for Tazulis in my opinion. No disrespect to himself, but it seems to be that everything is working out in our favour. 60 minutes mark now in the second half as we look to be able to defend our leader. Jao Cancelio gets tackled by Gallardo. Decent tackle as we concede the throw in then as they look to be able to offload it nice and quickly as Almas looks to take the throw in. He offloads it to his teammate Cancelo then as he's got an option in the box here as he kind of evaluates it at the same time and he takes his time. Lovely touch as he finds Almas. Now a pender. This could be a good opportunity for RB Leipzig to get themselves back into the game. It's a pender now. He goes on to Elmas and Lebrovic is on his toes there as he makes a decent save putting it out for a corner kick. 25 minutes left to spare. Can they make the most of this corner as the corner is whipped in there? Heretta clears his lines. It falls out to Schlager now to Kler. Looking for an opportunity now as he would be able to see if he can get the ball off him, but we can't. Backs it into the place so much there as Patrick Schick now picks up after coming off the bench. A pender now Almas. And Almas has found the back of the net to make it only a one goal disadvantage for themselves. And it seems to be that the momentum is carrying with RB Leipzig so far after that particular goal. Couldn't seem to clear our lines and they was holding themselves up really well there. And it was really hard to get the ball off them. And pender just finds Almas in a decent bit of space. Al Harby should be marking his man much quicker to be able to kind of stick a foot out and intervene in that situation. But it was wasn't to be and it is now 3-2. Jan Fatip Arp leaves the field there as you can see for Blanco and Oscar Bob will come onto the pitch for Heretta. 20 minutes left to play as we look to be able to kind of build on what we've previously done in this time but it's going to be hard because we've got to do some defending. Lovely defending flat from some Robinson as we stir some sort of attack here for ourselves as Emre Moore finds Blanco. Blanco with an opportunity to offload it to Bob. Bob's now got an opportunity to square it with cross goal. It's Emre Moore. He's going to be there for the tap in and he is. It's Fortuna Dusseldorf 4. RB Leipzig 2 and surely that's the icing on the cake that we really needed to be able to get victory in this particular tie making it uh, fortunate us to a four RB Leipzig two really good stuff from Emre Moore having assist and two goals under his belt seems to be that he's starting life in Germany in an absolute high hopefully long may that continue and hopefully we will see more of that lovely stuff from Oscar Bob not being selfish to take the shot just squaring it to his teammate knowing that it was a result in a goal and it is a simple tap in into an empty net can take them all day that is for sure as long as it's a goal we are never fussed but we haven't got long left, 15 minutes left of this particular tie as RB Leipzig get themselves kicked off, finding Wiley on the left hand side, oh Harby gets stuck in, finding his teammate Oscar Bob then as he uses his pace to be able to get past the defenders a lovely pass to Emre Moore here, he's got an opportunity to square it to his teammate, he'll take it upon himself, is it the hatch, you've got Blanco and it's going to be for Blanco as he scores into the back of the net to make it 5-2 for Fortuna, does it off 77 minutes being played and this has definitely got to be game set and the match, that is for sure seems to be that things are done and dusted here at the Dusseldorf Arena, no Thanks to that man, Emre Moore. What a game he's been having. Two goals, two assists. Definitely some sort of man of the match calibre sort of stuff. Happy to see Blanco on the score sheet, obviously, with not having so much game time compared to Jan Petit Arp. And that will be the rounding off of this particular tie. 5 2 in the end, an absolute smash and grab kind of stuff against RB Leipzig. We just hit him on the break too many times for them to even like it. And we was absolutely good in our attacks, that is for sure. Really happy with the result, really happy with the performance. And very thanks to that man, Emre Moore. Two goals, two assists. What more could you want? Third and final game that we'll be playing in this particular episode comes in the DFB Pokal against the previous opponents that we played in the Bundesliga 2, Carl's Rusha, then looking for an opportunity to play some players that normally don't get some minutes, and this is going to be the lineup. Labrovic in goal, Sieber and Garcia, then as Garcia makes his debut, and so does Kelsa Hayden with Selena on the left hand side, Talanka and Sanagre, then Mill with Sanagre making his debut also. Ilias Chair up top, and, well, just in front of the midfielder, sorry, with Heretta on the left hand side, Oscar Bob on the right hand side, and Blanco making the final spot up at the top. It's going to be different to be able to see different players on the pitch and be able to see what they can do and what their ability is going to be. Let's get straight into this game and let's see what we can do and let's hope we can get through to the next round. After coming so close in recent years, it'd be nice to be able to see if we can make this DFB poke out campaign compa kind of com like work for us, to be honest. But as you can see just there, they hit the bar straight away from the corner. It took about half an hour to create the first chance. The game's been really poor. It's been very slow and no chances from our side. That is for sure. As Carl's Rusha looked to be able to do something on the right-hand side there. Is, and they're looking for an option here. A lot of options there. Blistindle picks it up. Blue and white shirts are in the box at the same time as Cabal picks it up. Opportunity to find his teammate there. As Tananka makes a really good interception, finding Ilias Chair as he looks to use his pace 
and get away from it. It's an anchor is found once again there. Options are there and Chair is one of them as he makes the burst on the right hand side. This could be a really good opportunity for Elias Chair to get in. In on goal. But a decent set effort was saved there by De Vries there. And it is going to be saved as he clears his lines. Looking to offload it as Garcia competes with the header. He wins the header and so does Blanco. Hereta touches it down as he uses some skill to find himself on a decent bit of a pitch. Tananka finds Hereta on the left hand side. Looking to be able to get it off to Blanco. Blanco now with an opportunity finding his teammate. But unfortunately it's blocked by Kobold and they will clear their lines there as the opposition look to be able to kind of come out of their area and go on the attack themselves here as an option is there as Brunic picks it up finding his teammate really good opportunity to stride forth this is looking fast this is looking good Jensen now on the right hand side finding his teammate there as an opportunity to get the ball into the box it's Stindl it's now going to be Pearson and he does find the back of the net to make it Karusha 1 Fortuna does off nil and this is not the best of ways to be able to start our DFB Pokal campaign that is for sure looking for better things in the second half if this is anything to come off because we have created absolutely next to nothing in this particular half and this is not what we want to be seeing from the boys even though we've made a lot of changes don't get me wrong that kind of can shift the momentum in the side and everything else I still expect professional performances from the boys but we're going to go in the second half but before we do that we're going to have to make some substitutions that is for sure because things aren't working Blanca off the pitch from Armstrong and Shard on the pitch there for Hereta and Moussli Aja on for Ilias Chair we can't afford to lose this particular game as the DFB Pogo would mean a lot to us if we are to win the competition having come in close on so many occasions it'd be nice if we can kind of make the most of it now and this is an opportunity to kind of make this better for ourselves as Armstrong picks up he finds Kevin Shard lovely bit of play he's in on goal and as simple as that as soon as you put a bit of quality on he finds the goals to make it 1-0 in this particular time we are straight back into things only having five minutes in a particular second half but it didn't take us long and what a way to do it Kevin Shard there with a lovely finish on his right foot just curling past the keeper leaving him no chance of getting to that one whatsoever as it nestles into the bottom corner and we are now level in this particular tie it's going to be tough to get another goal in this game but we're roaring and ready to go as we continue on 53 minutes being played Jensen picks it up as he finds Stindl advantage being played after a foul committed upon the referee's eyes Stindl looking to get past the players in the middle as he kind of twists and turns finding his teammate really good opportunity and this is a big bit of play at the opposition at the same time really good to get the ball into the box there as you can see we're missing out here and Lebrovitz with another save going out for a corner kick as he asked big questions of his defenders realising that there was nobody there in that situation whatsoever as a corner kick will be taken there corner whipped in there Garcia looks to clear it but only as far as a blue and white shirt as Stindl picks it up he offloaded it to a teammate as an option is there as Selena gets stuck in at the same time but he's fouled and I feel like that's a free kick but it's not going to be given and they still remain in possession as Selena gets stuck in once again and we have conceded another corner yeah I'm not too sure how that wasn't a free kick it was definitely not a penalty on our end and it was definitely a free kick but for whatever reason I'm not too sure as Garcia clears his lines once again but unfortunately once again it falls back to a blue and white sure seeming to get things clear but not kind of getting back on the possession and win the first balls we seem to be second to everything as Zeigler picks it up he finds his teammate Wanztek now onto Stindl really good opportunity there Garcia getting stuck in finding Kevin Shard on the left hand side as he looks to be able to create an opportunity between himself and the defenders Armstrong picks it up but the pace is not enough to be able to beat the defenders as he stopped in his tracks advantage being played and it will be a free kick to Fortuna Dustorf and we have time to be able to settle the nerves and continue on Siebert takes it quick there as Selena finds Kelsa Hayden on the right hand side he hasn't had as much involvement any yet. Can he get involved now as Kelsa Hayden on the right hand side find his teammate Sonagre now to Shard. Shard's got an opportunity to be able to see if he can do something here as he twists and turns past the defender. He finds Sonagre and a really good choice there and it is saved there. Not really troubling the keeper too much but a very good opportunity to get ourselves in front of this particular tie as it goes into the keeper's hands and he looks to clear his line straight away finding his teammate Pearson, the goal scorer then looking to offload it to Jensen. Lovely bit of play there from the opposition. Brunic now picks it up looking to find his teammate and he does. Really good bit of play. Lovely fluidity to it also is looking for an opportunity on the left hand side is Heist. Heist looking to get the ball into the box there and he definitely does that. He finds his teammate in a lovely bit of space. It's Jensen and it is now Karusha 2 Fortuna Lostorf 1 and we are 22 minutes away from getting knocked out in the first round of the DFB Pokal and it's seeming to be that the momentum and confidence and everything has just been knocked massively for whatever reason I'm not too sure. Maybe I was wrong to make the decisions that I did make but that's all part of it, that's for sure. But we've still got time to get back into this team. I'll get back into this kind of game in total because it's been so hard for us to create any sort of fluid play for us. I don't know why, because we should be absolutely romping teams like this, but it's not this occasion. And we're going to have to continue on. There's 77 minutes being played. The clock is really ticking there as they clear the lines from the back wheel as Brunic picks it up. Now Jensen there looking for an opportunity to find his teammate. He definitely does that at the same time. Now looks to find Pearson. Pearson's got a pretty really good opportunity. See it, but with an interception now finding his teammate Kevin Shard 
on the left hand side he used to lose his pace he finds Armstrong lovely bit of play Armstrong's only got one defender with him but one man that hasn't is Shard it's going to be 2-2 two -two. and yes it is it's Kevin Shard that gets the goal he picks the ball back up he's got his second goal of this particular game after coming off the bench into the second half and Kevin Shard is the hero as it speaks there were 10 minutes left to play we've got a chance to be able to get another goal to be able to find the winner in this particular game but that man Kevin Shard is definitely going to be leading us to victory if that were to be the case what a lovely bit of play a decent bit of run there and an even better finish so it's two on this particular tie we're still a lot to play for as we continue on 83 minutes being played Brunich picks it up in the middle of the park then to create an opportunity if anyone creates anything now I think that's going to be the winner and that's the scary thing about it as Pearson picks it up looking for an opportunity to get the shot off there as you see Seabelt with a lovely interception last ditch sort of stuff as he finds Kelsa Hayden on the right hand side finding his teammates in Argo but it's intercepted now really good tackling by Garcia now as he finds Kelsa Hayden on the right hand side as he offloads it to Oscar Bob not having much involvement as he makes the burst on the right hand side but Jensen with a very good tackle there getting stuck in when it meant most as Kelsa Hayden takes the throw and finds Sanagre quickly a pass kind of misplaced but it finds Moose Yajra and it works in our favour finding Kevin Shard run made by Selena as he charges forward he's run into the gap it's going to be Selena and he finds the back of the net to make it Fortuna score three Carl Rusha two the first time that we've led in this particular fixture and what a way to do it because it seems to be that Selena has sealed the winner in this DFP Pokal to get us through to the next round of the German Cup and what a way to do it unbelievable stuff did not expect that whatsoever especially from that man Selena just running into the gap he was overlapping Kevin Shard at the time and he just saw the gap to be able to run into and he thought you know what I'm going to take this all by myself a lovely cool karma collective finish past the keeper holding his nerve against the highest kind of highs and that is one way to do it that is for sure as he celebrates in front of the travelling fans really happy with that effort and that will send us through to the next round of the cup we've got through from the skin of our teeth but we'll definitely take it in any means whatsoever they should have had that the opposition to be honest they were such the better side but on the day we came out on top we've got to thank that man Kevin Shard there two attempts two goals what a game he had for us and we've got to thank Selena for that last kind of ditch attempt there really happy with that shame about a few player performances after kind of creating a rotation but it is what it is and we are through to the next round and we have a simulation game in the last episode there Shard oh, Harvey and Arp getting on the score sheet to solidify a 3-2 win against Hoffenheim so we are really rounding things up on a high we're through to the next round of the cup and we've got three points on the board once again this is now the Bundesliga table and it's looking very good for us to be honest. We've played six, we've won five and we've lost one. Obviously that one we lost to Wolfsburg. Currently sitting on 15 points, only one point off a top and it's all to play for as we currently speak. Only five points separating the top six. So yeah, it's very tight. There's only a few little games that have been played but we are heading in the right direction but we have a massive game in the next episode against Bayer Leverkusen. It's going to be tough but we're going to be up for the fight that is for sure. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Cheers.